Hi everyone, welcome back to Ponderosa North for the love of Bonanza. Today I'm going to focus on our cast kids, the legacy of our Cartwright men. Um, they had many children, um, some of whom went into the business, follow, followed in their father's footsteps, others just went on to be uh, productive members of society. Um, I'm going to start with Lorne. He married Rita Hands in the 40s when he moved to Toronto um, to start his broadcasting career. And while in Toronto, they had twins, a boy and a girl, uh, Charles and Belinda, a.k.a. Chuck and Linda. Um, so he had his hands full in more ways than one. Um, they often would visit him on the set of Bonanza, his twins. They moved down to the States eventually. I believe Chuck settled in Lake Tahoe, actually, and was quite involved in the community down there. I think he's moved back to Toronto. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, British Columbia uh, now. Um, Belinda still lives in the States. Um, here they are. Chuck bears quite a resemblance to his father. And then um, after Lauren divorced, he was a bachelor for a while. And he, um, he, he found um, Nancy Deal. And here she is. And they had a daughter, Jillian. But I think it's pronounced Gillian, actually. Um, I'm going to put a, um, a link below of um, Gillian um, accepting uh, Lauren's uh, Canada's Walk of Fame star. She made a nice little tribute to him. So I'll put that below. Um, here's L happy Lauren with his new daughter. He looks so happy. It's great. And here she is all grown up. She um, went into directing and producing and a bit of acting, uh, following in her father's footsteps. Um, she lives in Los Angeles, and here is a picture of Chuck uh, at one of the conventions. He was um, always um, very involved um, and usually attended the convention. It was a very, very nice man. And just as a note, um, because I have it handy, this is Brent. This is Hop Singh's son, Brent, Victor Sen Young. Again, uh, another man who attended one of the conventions. All, all very nice people. Let's move on to Purnell, who had uh, one son. Um, he married Vera Maori, uh, and there she is with little Christopher. This would be in the early 50s, I believe. Um, and Purnell would often be seen with Christopher. They, um, they were like, ch they, they just got along famously. There he is on the right there, um, and again, I, I think uh, because Purnell traveled so much, as, as soon as Christopher was available during summers, um, Purnell said, give him to me. <laughs> I want him with me. So that's wonderful. Here he is all grown up um, with Purnell and his Purnell's mother, Minnie. Um, happy families there. And Christopher did some production as well. Here he is uh, behind the scenes there doing some photography. Um, unfortunately, though, uh, Christopher passed away. He passed away in 1989 uh, in a motorcycle accident. I'm sure absolutely devastating for Purnell and sort of the end of the line for uh, the Roberts family. He was, um, that was it. It was Purnell was an only child and uh, Christopher was an only child. Um, and um, so when Christopher passed, no more, no more Robertses in that line of uh, the family unfortunately so Purnell went on to marry Judith he was married four times um, and then he married Kara Mack uh, during his Trapper John days he was married to Kara he is at a, an event um, and he went on to marry uh, his um, uh, Eleanor Griswell uh, he was very um, attracted to very accomplished women the, the women he were married to were scientists and professors and so uh, yeah he really liked to um, he really lo probably loved uh, the conversation and the the in depth the depth of uh, a really smart woman um, let's move on to Dan Dan had four children there they are David Dirk Deborah and Dana <laughs> twins Deborah and Dana were and uh, here, this is a great picture of them together. Look at, there's a fun dad for you, just enjoying his kids. Uh, David went on to do some production 
Um, he was went into um, producing, directing. There he is there. And, um, of course, Dirk. Here they are. Um, sorry. Here they are, just in the backyard, having a nice barbecue. Uh, here's David again, young man. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if you're aware that Dirk... Um, is an actor. He's been a character actor for decades now. Uh, he was featured uh, mostly in Black Sheep Squadron. Uh, Bragg, I believe his name was. Um, and Mike gave him a gig in Little House. It's been an image of his dad and is still acting today. And is, you know, Dan Blocker is in there. Can you believe it? Yeah, that's Dirk Blocker still working today. Okay, let's move on to Michael Landon. Lots of kids, lots of kids he had. He, uh, he married Dodie when he was 19 years old. She had a child named uh, um, Josh, and they adopted a son, uh, Mark. Or it could have been the other way around. I'm pretty sure Josh was uh, the stepchild. And then he married uh, Lynn, and they had four children together. She had a, step she had a child, Cheryl. And uh, they had four children. They had Leslie, Mike Jr., Christopher, and Shauna. Um, here's Mike with Shauna. I'll, I'll talk about her later in, in a minute, uh, about Shauna. Um, and, um, you know, family man Mike. There he is with Leslie and Mike Jr. Of course, Mike Jr. went on to do... Um, a few Bonanza spinoffs, Bonanza Returns and Back to Bonanza, but they didn't really take off. He he went into executive producing and directing. He does uh, When Comes the Heart, I believe. It's one of Mike uh, Landon Jr.'s um, productions. Um, here they are all together. Quite a brood, the Landon brood. And then he married Cindy, and they had Jennifer and Sean. Um, here's Jennifer. Um, quite an accomplished actress. She has quite a resume. She's done a lot of soaps, things like that. But uh, right now she's on Yellowstone. So she plays Teeter on Yellowstone. So the legacy continues. Um, so I'm just going to finish up with um, Shauna Landon. Um, sort of tragedy has struck uh, the Landon family. Um, here she is with her son, uh, Dylan. But unfortunately, Dylan was killed in a uh, hit-and-run accident, I believe two years ago. And there's an investigation underway about it. And um, yeah, tr it's very tragic. Uh, it was a hit-and-run on the highway, and they still don't know what happened. So uh, hopefully they will, because I'm sure Shauna would like to know. Um, so that's it for all the kids. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on Ponderosa North for the love of Bonanza. Bye for now.